we have this in intimidating integral from 0 to positive infinity e to the negative x squared times sine x squared over x squared. And uh, so this part we're familiar with, e to the negative x squared, Gaussian integral. So now I want to perhaps get rid of the x squared at the bottom. That's my motivation. So I introduce a parameter, 0 to positive infinity. Copy down x squared e to the negative x squared times sine time of b times x squared dx. So this integral depends on value of b. So it's a function in terms of b, i of b. Next, I want to differentiate with respect to b. Right. 0 to positive infinity x squared e to the negative x squared cosine bx squared times x squared, right? The reason is because b is the variable, right? x squared is a constant, right? chain rule x squared. So this time I can just easily uh, get rid of x squared, right? And also it's perfectly legal for us to differentiate inside function first, right? So here I'm gonna rewrite cosine bx squared. This is in fact a real part of the complex number. Right, the imaginary part is just plus i times sine bx squared. Right, so all I have to, so real part, real part, zero to positive infinity, e to the negative x squared times e to the <coughs> bx squared i dx. That's real part integral from 0 to positive infinity e to the negative x squared right. common factor 1 minus uh, bi dx now now I want <coughs> now I want to have a look at this integral right so this is a Gaussian integral involving some complex coefficient followed by uh, following x squared. Right, so without, without it, we know it's half of square root of pi. But long story short, the result of this is just the real part of half of square root of pi over that complex number, 1 minus bi, right, whose real part is 1 positive. So this is fine. And uh, so since this is the derivative of b, right? So what's, what's its antiderivative, i of b, right? It's the indefinite integral. So I want to find that i of b is the, uh, so let's just take out co coefficients, half of square root of pi times real part of, let's just rewrite this square root, right? One, so that's the, 1 minus bi to the power of negative half. Now, so that is the so half of square root of pi, the real part of indefinite integral of 1 minus bi to the power of negative half, right? b is the variable, so db. Now, so that is equal to half of square root of pi times the real part of what's its antiderivative, right? It's a, <clears throat> it's a complex uh, composite function, right? Inside function, one minus b i. b as the variable, remember. And so that is, we have the formula. So one plus negative half, half. And copy down one minus bi to the power of 1 plus negative half, that's half. And we still have, right, if we double check, differentiate this will give us uh, that, also differentiate inside, right? Coefficient of b is negative i. So there's going to be negative i coming out. So not exactly this, but so to cancel out negative i, we just multiply by negative i on the bottom. Of course, we plus a constant c, determining that c. 
And so that simplify this, multiply by i on both top and bottom, right? Negative i square. i square first, right? that's negative one. Negative, negative one, positive one. So this form, right? And half on the bottom, half on the top, here, right? Half, 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 half times square root of pi. So this simplify. And now I'm gonna, let's find out what's i of zero, right? To determine the value of c. Let's see, what's i zero equal to? Zero, integral of zero. That's zero. At the same time, <coughs> work out, work out square root of pi times the real part of when b becomes zero, I have one minus zero to the power of half, one, one times i, real part of i plus c, right? Real part of i is uh, just zero, right? Zero plus i, complex number. So this becomes zero, so c is just zero. And now let's, finally, let's find out what's i of one, right? b equals one, that's my desired integral. Right. So i of one, that is equal to uh, replace b with one in here, right? The <coughs> square root of pi times the real part of Copy down i times 1 minus i to the power of half plus 0. Okay. Just need to simplify this, right? So this is also a complex number, right? Complex number to the power of half, still a complex number. And so, in fact, 1 minus i, right, from the graph, it's very clear. Right. One negative i, so complex number sits here. Right. What's its length or modulus? Right. So this is uh, one minus i. Right. Its modulus is just easily square root of two, and the angle angle is negative pi over four. Right. This is uh, obvious. So that. Here I have, can write it into trigonometric form. Modulus times cosine negative pi over four plus i times sine of negative pi over four. Okay. So that is, that is trigonometric form. So, so it's power to the half, right? So one minus i to the power of half. And this is easily verifiable. This is also a complex number. Modulus is square root of square, square root of two. And the uh, cosine angle is negative pi over eight plus i times sine of negative pi over eight. And this is easily verifiable, right? Just um, square this whole thing. Right? Square root of square root of square becomes square root of two, becomes this part. And the De rule, right? Double the angle, right? The angle becomes negative pi over four, negative pi over four. So this is perfectly fine. And uh, so to, to simplify this, right? So i of one now becomes uh, square root of pi times the times the real part of uh, uh, i times this part, so this part. So square root of square root of two of times cosine negative pi over eight plus i sine negative pi over eight. And what's the, what's the real part? Right, forget about the imaginary part. Imaginary part is just i times this. So this would be ignored. So i times this part, right, becomes i squared 
which is negative one. And the negative sign, sign negative, there's a negative coming out. So, so uh, ne negative one, negative one become positive one. So that is square root of pi times uh, positive. Positive, there is a, this comes square root of square root of two of uh, positive sine, like I said, odd function, right? Negative coming out, pi over eight. And so that uh, maybe just combine the square root. So put the combined, you know, here is together square root under which I have pi times square root of two, right? Together under the square root.